Jesus in our normal state. We wish to state very categorically our observation and position with respect to the March 18, 2023 governorship election in our normal state as us. The Adamawa State Governorship election of 18th March actually took place as scheduled across the state. There was impressive voter turnout for the election, even as we had expected voter party as a demonstration of their disaffection on the outcome of the presidential election that raised so many unfriendly doors in the state. No political environment was tense in the state, leading to the governorship and state assembly elections, but its size was peaceful. And come across the entire poly units and local government areas visited by our team. Though there were some reports of hoodlums attempting to disrupt the process in some quarters. There was an impressive improvement on the part of INEC, particularly currently done from all the levels of collection to the final collection center, where over 37,000 votes were cancelled from 69 poly units affecting. 47 registration area award in the state. I will show very clear on the intriguing political situation in the state as thus. One, we support and commend INEC for suspending the election result collection at the final collection center in Yola to review and critically study complaints and reports of violence and malpractice in some local government areas. Two, the declaration of the election as inconclusive by the collection and retirement officer in consultation with the state resident electoral commissioner and other officials in the, in, is in order and in line with the Electoral Act and other relevant electoral laws of the nation as a democratic country. The margin of lead is less than the total number of cancelled votes as a result of surveillance in the set, in the set, uh, against the set standards for the election. We condemn the continuous protest in island offices both in Yola and Abuja by undemocratic elements desiring to thwart the process and win election through the back door. Also, they call for the total review or cancellation of the election at this time by some groups is like changing the goalposts at the middle of the game in order to score cheap goal. INEC should remain resolute and committed in conducting a prepared, credible, and transparent supplementary election where the mandate of the people will really count as they conclude the 2023 Adamo State Governorship election. Political parties and their candid candidates and all stakeholders in the state should support INEC in ensuring a peaceful conclusion of the governorship election in the state come 15th April 2023 and desist from the continual stone throwing and negative criticisms against the commission. 15th of April 2023. By so doing, they will douse the growing political tension and uncertainty in the state ahead of the supplementary election. We, the INEC duly aggregate civil society of smart groups, are fully on ground monitoring the entire situation ahead of the supplementary election of 15th April 2023. As we are hopeful that INEC will conduct a credible and most transparent supplementary election that will be acceptable by all as a true reflection of the people's mandate. Thank you and God bless. We God continue to give us peace as we pray for peace. Amen. This Communicate is signed by Comrade Victor Oyen Katikalo, the team leader, and of course the team secretary, Comrade Friday Madoka. Thank you. Yeah. If, if people here, please permit me to be as straight and simple as I am. This is our position. If there are people that want to call for the sacking or the resignation of the wreck, I don't think that is what we have done now. And it, it should not be put on me to demand for that. When we have finished our, our testing, we are, we are still in the states processing our findings. We are still in the states breaking our packs here. Yeah. Possibly before the supplementary election, we will still make another statement. We are partners in this process. We are partners in this process. So putting it to me now, or to the civil society groups, heads of civil society groups here now, please, because you are here, I'll call for the sack of the red. I don't think you can be fair to us. Thank you. Thank you.